Hi guys, good morning. How are you? It's um lovely and muggy here today. So done my walk, done the kid thing, dropped them all off and got them where they need to be. Um, and I wanted to have a chat to you about uh, how stress affects your health, right? And about how stress uh, is affecting um, your hormones, your weight gain, um, menopause symptoms. It, it affects you, your gut, your digestion, your obviously your moods and your you know coping mechanisms, your immunity. There's so many ways that stress really does affect how we live and how we feel. Um, but it's a really number one issue, a big issue for weight, right? For weight, um, if you're midlife like me, um, in your 40s, 50s, 60s even, um, and you've been stressed for a long period of time, your adrenal glands are probably no longer helping you. You've got, because of that, they actually cut um, some of, they take some of the slack for the estrogen as our ovaries uh, slow down as a, in production. But if you've already got adrenal glands that are screwed because of uh, like you know long term stress, then you're going to have issues balancing the hormones, right? Just like um, cortisol, which is our stress, our fight or flight um, hormones, right? So if they've been on overdrive for a long period of time, again, you're going to have more cortisol in your body. It also releases more insulin. So if you were going to run away from a dinosaur, that's fantastic, right? So, you know, your body heightens with hormones, it dumps the insulin, so you've got energy to run, right? It's not so helpful when, you know, you're going through menopause or perimenopause or you are just ill, you know, unwell, right? You're unwell because you don't want that extra insulin, right? You don't want the extra um, fat storage around your tummy, right? We have more cells in our tummy for cortisol and it so that's why it gathers there, as well as the fact that our fat tissue on our tummy is used for estrogen supply, right? It's a very, um, it's a very genius um, body we have, but it can backfire if we're not taking care of ourselves. So then when we, when we arrive to menopause or perimenopause in our 40s, and we've already been through a hell and back, or we've already gone through a lot of ill health or a lot of stressful situations where our body isn't um, you know, coping well or we've been un unwell or we're just not vital, right? We've not got the foundations of health. So you're gonna have a lot of issues with your body trying to regulate and stimulate the right hormones at the right time. Um, and it's very easy for it to become unbalanced, right? So that's the thing when, when I say healthy body means healthy menopause because if you arrive at your menopause years, but you've taken care of yourself, and we can't always avoid stress, right? Um, in fact, I remember a few years ago, long before kids, I had insomnia for a couple of years, I reckon a couple of years, right? But I was too silly and young <laughs> to know what that was about and what that was from and of course a lot of stress especially younger when I was younger that's you know we bring that on ourselves it's not always um always something we can't control right so as we get older we just need to be a bit more wiser about how we treat our bodies and if we need to have a rest and we need to um eat better and move by, move more to get rid of the toxins as well in our body, get rid of the insulin because that's what it's for is to use it, right, to, for storage. We don't want it stored as fat. And so when we're becoming older, we're slowing down in activity, we don't have as much muscle, we're not using the insulin and we've got too high our stress levels. So our, so our stress hormones are through the roof. Our body is reacting with illness most likely because that's what happens because um, you can only get away with that for so long right so if you need a healthier body you have to find ways to calm down calm the hell down right because you can't have a healthy body and a totally stressed out system right stressed out high hormones with stress um, not functioning properly so you've got mood swings you've got anxiety you might have um, a bit of depression you might have um you know, diabetes, you might have cholesterol, blood pressure, all these things come into it. If you have a stressed out body, you, you know, you can't, that's not a healthy body. So you need to work out what needs to be done to get you back to normal, balance the hormones out, lower the stress hormones so that you can lower the weight 
right? Because the weight, like I said, it, it gathers around our tummy because that's what it's supposed to do, right? It's so more like a survival mechanism. We have more, um, more tissue in our tummy. We get um, our estrogen from our tummy once our ovaries have slowed down. That's why women that, like I said, get really severe... Uh, hot flushes and symptoms from menopause is because they've probably arrived in menopause quite unhealthy in the first place. So it's definitely possible because those hormones are lifestyle, right? Your hunger hormones, all those kinds of things, the way that our body responds um, is all lifestyle. So we can change that. We can work on that and improve that. Um, like I said, there are, there are other hormones as well, but they all work together like you've got your thyroid as well you like it all affects immunity right so and the way that your body functions and that's not by accident that these things happen um in most cases we have some control over that so that's all i want to talk about was what is stress doing to your body are you lacking sleep at the moment are you having um reactions to to stress are you having um you know, digestion problems, are you having immune, um, thyroid, um, fibromyalgia, all these other areas of, of our health that start playing up our, our nerve system. And um, yeah, so it's just, it's really worth addressing because it doesn't get better unless you help yourself, unless you make it get better, right? And that's not necessarily taking drugs or, or medicine. There's, like I said, there is some lifestyle factors that you can actually work on to bring the weight down, to bring the stress levels down. Because you, if, you're, if you're really uh, inactive, probably over, overweight, it's not going to happen for you if you are stressed, right? If you are continually fighting that, you're fighting yourself, Right, so we need to be able to calm down to get the body working again to burn the fat like it's supposed to, yeah, and that will also improve your menopause symptoms as well as other other areas of your life, your anxiety, your um, your diet, exercise, um, motivation, you know, joy, all the things that we we really do need to be a healthy woman, yeah. So if you've got some issues with stress. Um, know that that is something that you can respond differently to. So we can't control stress in all cases, but we can respond how we think about it. We can respond how we react to it, right? And our reaction, and I know with anxiety, it's really bad. Like I've had children with anxiety and their, their stomach just stops working, right? Everything stops working. They can't function. And I, I know that that's true for, for a lot of women as well. So, you know, it really is worth working on that aspect of your health so the other areas of the um of your health can can work properly yeah um if you'd like a free health breakthrough call jump on a call with me because we'll go over what's going on and where you can tweak and where you can maybe improve or add things in it doesn't mean that you have to stop doing certain things but maybe we can add in um you know increase the, the nutrients that are going into your body increase the way that you're um giving your body support and rest um working on your positive mindset as well changing the way you're thinking about things if you're overthinking overreacting um yeah which is usually comes out in our food habits as well so if you've got poor food habits where you might be binge eating or emotional eating or you know overeating whatever that is it's all part of it right it doesn't just happen in isolation and if you're going to thrive it's never about the weight loss it's actually about getting yourself back to basics, back in control, feeling happy, then everything else works a lot better. So there's also hormones for your happiness, you know that, right? So, you know, a lot of the time we actually need more of that. We need more joy. We need more happiness, more, more passion, more, more activities that we love doing, um, being around people that make us feel happy. Um, that also is a hormone and it increases how your body responds to everything and lowers all the stress. That's, we are built with everything that's supposed to happen to us, right? We're supposed to work a certain way. It's just that we interfere with that, right? We actually stop that from working by adding other, you know, other things into our life that are not helping us. So let's get back to basics. Um, if you want to talk about that, I just want to have a quick word because I've, you know, I've recently noticed that some women are not noticing or not realizing that stress is the weight problem. That is what's causing the weight problem. Um, so 
yeah, and then that, obviously you get stressed about that and then it causes other problems. Um, so you're unhappy and that causes other problems. So it's just like a cycle. So let's, let's try and break that cycle and make you happier and work on the, the weight, but doing that holistically through being healthy in all aspects, not just looking at your tummy because it doesn't come from that. It comes from stress and hormones. Um, as we get older, right? And that comes from certain things that we can affect and we can change. All right, I know that was a long-winded um, <laughs> message, but, you know, stress, you're going to be feeling a lot better if you can reduce the stress. And that's not necessarily making it stop, that's changing the way that you think and feel about it and the way you respond to it, right? We have a choice. In every case, we have a choice. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.